What's going on guys? Today we are in Minneapolis, Minnesota and we are going to be trying the best food places near us. Such as the restaurant that invented the Juicy Lucy, one of the most popular burgers in America. First up, we are at Sweet Berries Bakery. Honestly, this place looks amazing. Let's read some of the reviews first. For the first review, it is my secret sauce. Fantastic breakfast and lunch spot. When people talk about a hidden gym, this is it. The chiquillas are outstanding. The pastries are beautiful. Honestly, hey. this guy better be right because he's hyping this up way too much. Bye. I'm excited. Know. I'm excited, but I'm also scared because of the next review. All right, for the next review, I'm going to be reading the one star review left by Ellie Glennis. Just terrible. Is this $7 crispy bacon? Is that looks this just, bad. yeah, it does look pretty bad. Is this extra cheddar that I was charged? I couldn't eat any of it. Not worth it. Honestly, I agree. That does not look It looks me. pretty bad. I can't lie. So hopefully that's not worth getting and that we're not getting charged $7 crispy bacon. Yeah, I know. Honestly, it's in a really ghetto area, but ghetto food's always the best. So this better be good. Okay, so we're going to get your Quilas, I think that's what it's called. And then we're gonna get these things. That looks so fire. That's what someone recommended, so we're gonna try that out. Can we get chiquilas? Can we get one of the tarts at the front? Oh, you guys? Thank you. This looks so good. Okay, there's a damn bug, bro. Get the f off my food. Honestly, I really like this. This is better than like just the traditional scrambled eggs, bacon, all that bullshit. I feel like it could be a tiny bit better, a little less spicy, but I really like this. Let's get another tart. Mmm. Honestly, it tastes like strawberry shortcake. Okay, my girlfriend's gonna try it now. I'm gonna let her try this too. I already had a bite of it. Here it goes. It's spicy. It's not that bad. Wait, yeah, it's spicy. <laughs> I'm gonna try the fruit tart. That is so good. All right, guys, we just got done eating. This place is really good. I definitely recommend it, but the only thing that's kind of annoying are the amount of portions they give you. They give you like a tiny piece of chicken for that entire plate of food, but I want to rate this food. Honestly, a 7.5 out of 10. Have you been to this place? No. Oh, okay. All right, anyways, let's get on to the next location. All right, guys, for the second location, we just got to Marty's Deli. This place looks really good. I'll read one of the reviews. Absolutely incredible. The Lefty is one of the best sandwiches I've ever had in my entire life. I cannot recommend this place enough experience my girlfriend so i want to let her review this one all right so now i'm going to read a one star review by bernard all right not a deli and sandwiches are unaffordable for average people okay they are really overpriced it's like 17 dollars a sandwich yeah. but whatever let's go try it one thing i did not mention about today it is extremely cold out we're out here in like the negative degrees filming some good content for you guys so i think that deserves a stop Howdy. Can we get a lefty? For sure. $17.40. Okay. okay, they were not wrong about this sandwich, but this was $17. We're going to review this in my car because it was way too tiny in there. This actually smells really good. It's so it's small. It's so small, but it's like really cool. Like I like the packaging. Oh my God, wait. That looks so good. That smells so good. Oh, that is beautiful, bro. That sandwich looks so good. Now we'll see if this was $17 worth. Okay, that chicken had a crunch before I heard mm. that. All right, guys, so first impressions. Honestly, the chicken is really crispy. The bread isn't that crispy. I wish it was toasted a little bit more, to be honest. It's good. It's a good sandwich, don't get me wrong, but I don't know if it's $17 worth yeah, I know. for this small sandwich. I would say like 10 12 Okay, so why don't you try it now? That looks so good, bro. That actually looks amazing. I do actually really like this and it actually give you a good amount of chicken. All right, guys, so we're going to give a rating now on what we think. Let's say at the same time. Three, two, one, seven. Six. I rated a six, she rated a seven. Yeah, a 6.5 out of 10. All right, guys, for the next restaurant, we have Pizza Luce. I'm really excited. It looks like a nice, like, restaurant. Okay, this is the first five-star review. It is by Colby Flynn. Some of the best pizza you will ever have. I had while traveling and it's a five-star all day. Thank you again. That was very passionate by Colby. All right, so for the one-star review now, we have a review by Matthew Feinmeier Rager and he said completely underproofed pizza crust soggy and wet 10 inch maximus yeah. don't order that so, nasty. I, I can't, can't lie. lie yeah it looks pretty bad before we go inside I want you guys to comment below your favorite food all right this is the place right here this place is gonna smack bro I guarantee it. there's like 10 locations and every location is like a 4.6 so this better be good bro these pockets are so small I thought I lost my phone I was tweaking whenever you just feel there and you're like okay I don't feel my phone Oh, I know y'all can relate because everyone does that. What pizza should we get? Oh, great question. Lots of options. Pizza Athena is a favorite of mine. That's the one in the photo here. That one looks fire. I think we'll get that one. At the pizza just came. We got artichoke pizza. The server said that this is his favorite pizza, so we got it. This best be good, man. This best be good. 
So I feel like initially when we first started eating this, like first couple bites, it was really good. But then the more you eat it, it's just, it's Ooh. nothing special. It tastes like Domino's. Okay, so we came to conclusion. <laughs> we we're gonna rate this a five out of 10. It's really good. The service was really good, but it was not worth the hype. All right, guys, we just got to the next location. Match bar, it's right up there. Okay, why is there a diaper on the tree? <laughs> okay, what the f <laughs> that was not staged. Okay, let's just go. This shit's ghetto. This restaurant looked really cool inside and it smelled so good. The vibes in there were actually so nice. Like, it literally felt like a 1980s bar, if that makes sense. Also, for those of you guys who don't know what a Juicy Lucy is, basically, there's cheese inside the actual patty. I'm scared. I don't want to, like, drip everywhere. That thing, like, exploded. Yeah, you do not want to get Juicy Lucy to go, bro. It's not insanely cheesy, like... Ew. Hey, you try, you try, you try. <laughs> we did not read the reviews on this one, so I'm gonna do that real quick. For the first review, it's a five star by Bailey Bruce. One of the best burgers I've ever had. Great service, ambient, 13 out of 10, must try. Okay, that guy is overrating this. I think the vibes in there were a lot better, but this burger is literally so mid. All right, guys, so for the worst review, we have Bertha Valencia, overrated. The Juicy Lucy is basically a McDonald's burger with cheese in the middle. Honestly, I agree completely with her. These are what the fries look like. People were hyping up these fries so much, and these are not that good. Definitely would not get it again. Like, you can get a better burger anywhere else. So I wanna rate this burger a four out of 10. It's nothing special. The vibes in there, eight out of 10. The burger, four out of 10, bro. This is not that good. Indeed it wasn't. Also, click here. YouTube thinks you'll really enjoy it. Subscribe.